Abercrombie clothes are for people who are cool and who look a certain way and are beautiful and who are thin and, and blah, 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 blah. That would make me never buy anything from Abercrombie. Allie is the latest to weigh in on a growing controversy over the fact the apparel maker doesn't sell women's clothes above a size 10. Don't support Abercrombie, don't support. On Monday, protesters gathered outside of an AF store in Chicago. The backlash also escalating on Twitter, Facebook, even on YouTube, where one popular poster started a Fitch the Homeless campaign, asking customers to rebrand the popular retailer by giving their Abercrombie clothes to the homeless. Let's start with you. When you were hired by Abercrombie and Fitch, you were told that you could wear your headscarf as long as it was white, gray, or navy blue. Then what happened on February 22nd? I went into work about a week earlier when I met with the district manager, and he put me on phone with the HR department in corporate. And she just let me know about the look policy and about how scarves weren't allowed and that anything regarding the head, any caps weren't allowed, and that... I would be taken off the schedule for further notice and I let her know it was for religious purposes and yet again she referred to the look policy and told me that I wouldn't be able to work. All right, and then we... I go in a week later. Go ahead and finish, and, sorry. Uh, oh, sh I go in a week later and I'm told that I will no longer be working for the company as my headscarf did not comply with the look policy and I was fired.